So players might not know who you are, um, or may have only talked to you on forums and such. So do you want to introduce yourself? Yeah, Yeah, sure. Um, I'm Mod Helen. Helen. Um, I'm lead technical developer on RuneScape. Uh, Mod Jack, I'm a designer on RuneScape. And I'm Mod Raskas, the web producer for RuneScape. And you've all been involved in RuneMetrics in some capacity, so developing, designing... Yeah. Helen, Helen was the primary developer of RuneMetrics. <laughs> primary developer? Okay, fancy. <laughs> right. <laughs> I said Mod Roy was the primary developer of RuneScape. Oh, uh, right, ago, okay. And Helen wasn't happy about that. Uh, right, okay, so Helen we're evening it out a little bit. Um, just sitting... Oh, uh, it was just sitting out of shot was Mod Salen. Oh, he's over there he's now. Oh, he is. Yeah, he's, a, he's gossiping about the chat, I think. Yeah, so we also have somebody who's going to occasionally jump in if we say things that are wrong or uh, <laughs> against message yeah. on Rune yeah. Metrics. Um, does, which one of you wants to give it a go in terms of what Rune Metrics is? So, <coughs> I think it's going to be me. Um, <laughs> there's two parts to it. Um, there is an in-game tracker, which lets you see things like your XP per hour, your time to next level, how much you've spent and uh, gained by skilling, uh, lots of combat things as well in there. Um, you'll also be able to see like real-time graphs of what you're doing in the past sort of few minutes. Um, and then the second part of the, the project really is, is a, a web application where you can go back in time and see what you have been doing. Gotcha. So, you, so your history of efficiency and... Yeah, yeah. So your history of skilling, kind of killing... Uh, drops and your wealth as well in the game. Grand. So. Can we say any more? So a, a lot of people were chatting, um, and I wasn't sure if we could talk about like what people get as the free experience for Rematch because it's obviously split between um, that which is free and that which you is paid for. Yeah. So there's there's on both in game and on the website there are free aspects to it. Yeah. Um, in game you'll get things that kind of count what you've been doing for free. Um, and the things that calculate things like XP per hour that need some computational power to do things, yeah. they are part of the RuneMetrics Pro package. Um, and then on the website, we're kind of what we're aiming to do is replace the adventurer's log that's on yeah. the website already. Um, so adventurer's log will be going? Uh, not initially. Very right. shortly after we launch it, though, we're looking to kind but of... The intention is to kind of phase it out because this is it's just redundant while you have this. Yes, apparently. yeah, because we want there to be like one hub of like your player data on the website. Um, yes. And we're building the, the Rune Metrics app that's on the website to work much better on your phones and your tablets and things. So it doesn't make sense to have two separate systems running that do very similar things. Gotcha. I mean, we've got some, some images. So the website part of Rune Metrics... Uh, I think yeah. we can show a couple of images if you want to talk over what people are seeing. Yeah, so what you're seeing here is our summary page. So this is what you see when you first log in. And the part of the top is kind of what you'll get for free. Um, so that's pulling in lots of data from your adventure log. Um, and we've kind of brought back a lot of the, the things that people liked about the way the adventures log used to look, especially around the skilling part. Um, and then the part at the the bottom of the, the, the page is actually the, the new data, the, the, the stuff that we, we have to process and crunch through to, to bring it to you. Um, so when you first log in, you'll see seven days of that. And, and here you're seeing like, overall, what have you been doing? How, how are your XP gains going? Uh, what have you killed in the past week? And then also, what from those kills, what did you get? Um, and we keep this data and it's very detailed and you get, exa- you get to see exactly what happened inside the game when yeah. you look back at it. So we're getting a lot of people, people in, the, in the chat saying keep Adventurer's Log. There's uh, lovers of the Adventurer's yeah. Log. So, um, I mean, that's, is that a definitive decision? So, so well, we're not going to get rid of any features. All the features that are on the Adventurer's Log will be in here. Yeah. Um, and they'll be free for people to access. You won't have to pay. So those things that you've got in the Adventurer's Log for free will be yeah. free in, in Room Metrics, metrics well. yeah. So there we're just trying to make it clearer. And, and more. And, and more, and more yeah. yeah, and make it clearer how you get to things and make it clearer where the data lives on the website because it's a bit kind of clunky at the moment on the website. Gotcha, all right. Um, so I've got one from Baking Bad, a terrible pun. Will the website part of Remetrics be updated on logout? Um, I think you covered that a little. Yeah, kind, kind of a little. It'll be much better than that. So, so the, the Adventures log stuff will work exactly how it does now, yeah. um, but the, the kind of meaty data stuff will be updated uh, every like as you were playing, yeah. uh, so it's not quite live. Um, what we're trying to do is get it to be as fast as possible, yeah. um, and you know we'll see how fast we can get it once everyone <laughs> starts using it. Really. Yeah, exactly. Ramp it up. Um, just one if you want to cover what it costs, because obviously that's what a lot of people have been talking about. Um, oh, sorry. 
A uh, second image. Oh, we've got a second image. Oh, I'm doing so badly today. <laughs> Yes. Terribly, we've got a second image. So this is kind of a look at what you get when you go deep into one or two skills at a time. So this is uh, showing, I think it's attack and constitution being compared to each other at the same time. And um, what you're seeing here is a breakdown of what you did in a single day. Um, and each of the bars represents one hour of your play. Um, so you can see kind of there's a highlight there on attack that's showing you gain so many hundred thousand XP in that particular hour. And uh, you can actually click on that hour and go into uh, the minutes within that hour yeah. and see exactly what you did in those minutes as oh, well. This is only going to highlight how inefficient I am. <laughs> yes, or how efficient you are for a really great player as well. <laughs> <laughs> um, grand. grand. So hopefully you're starting to see the, um, the detail you can go into, just how much you know, kind of depth to this tracking there is. Yeah, yeah. it's, um, it's, it's kind of not like anything skilling. we've done before. Yeah. It's, it's massively more in depth. Okay. Um, Let's go to my question. <laughs> uh, what does it cost? What, Jack? Bond a month. Bond a month. Or 359. For, for the kind of expanded for version the, for of the pro, yeah. Yeah, for, for the yeah. pro. Rune Metrics is that, free is free. Yeah. That's why we called it free. Are we calling it pro? Pro, I think. Yes, Rune right. Metrics Pro. pro right? is the, yeah, it's pro. Yeah, it's pro. Rune Metrics Pro. Because it's so pro. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but why does it um, need a subscription? So. As I said, it's kind of not like anything we've done before. Um, so to kind of get that level of depth that you saw in the screenshot, um, we have to store a lot of data. Um, and we're, we are storing the data ourselves. Um, yeah. And it's kind of a really advanced storage system that we built for this. Um, so you couldn't just go out and buy a hard drive off the shelf and stick it in the server and just be done with that. We yeah. kind of we need to make sure it's backed up. Um, and as I said, it'll work on lots of devices. So it's kind of a sitting on the internet, um, so you can access it from anywhere, on your phone, whatever. Um, and to keep that all up and running yeah. costs us quite a lot of money to do. So We were surprised, weren't we, how much it actually yeah. cost? <laughs> yeah, it's quite expensive, yeah. but... So just yeah. trying it out as well. Um, they've got a number of spiky questions, the tough ones. Uh, just go, <laughs> go through them. Uh, what happens if I lapse on my Remetrics subscri uh, subscription? Uh, so the finer detail of what happens there isn't quite decided yet. Um, but what we're aiming to do is make it so that if you are a, a, re a recurring subscriber and you don't let your subscription lapse, then your data will stay there indefinitely. Right. Um, however, if your subscription does lapse, there will be like a grace period as well where we'll keep a hold of it. But after a while, we, you know, it's kind of expensive for yeah. us to hold on to this stuff forever. So, so we need to make sure we don't, well, we, we can't store it for everyone forever. Gotcha. Um, Musashi, um, another question that I've seen a lot of is, uh, why is Remetrics not being given to Gold Premier Club members outright? Uh, <laughs> Get another one for me, I think. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, when, when we started building this right back at the start, about a year, a year or so ago at least, um, we always thought that this is a service that is separate, almost separate to the game. Uh, it's, it's, it's for information only, yeah. um, and it doesn't give you a significant advantage by having it. Um, so we always thought that this should be completely optional for everyone. Um, and if you want to subscribe to it, then you can. So at the moment, we're not looking at uh, how does it fit with membership is very clearly a, a separate thing. Yeah. Um, and also, if we had kind of rolled it into Premier Club, it's probably quite likely we would have had to charge a bit more for Premier Club as well. So obviously, it's, we want it to be optional. And if you're not interested in this, then yeah. you, you, you don't have to. But there is, um, Premier Club do get, um, sorry, to, to tell me if I'm wrong, a certain period of time with? Yes, yeah, so two months free. Two, months, two weeks two free. Months free. Two weeks free. Yeah, two, two weeks, weeks free. free. <laughs> That's very important sorry. there. <laughs> we change everything. Yeah, two weeks free uh, if you're on Premier Club Gold, uh, and the, the two weeks will be redeemed via a voucher, which will email out to people. Yeah. Um, so when you get that voucher, you'll be able to redeem it on your account, and your two weeks will start from then. So if you can't use it right at the start of your two weeks, you'll be able to choose when and you so want you your thing to, yeah. to start. But there's some good time to see that. I mean, double XP is coming up. Yeah. If you wanted to use that, to that use period, it. just see just how, my, how many gains you're making. <laughs> and, um, it's, and Gold Premier Club also get 50% discount, I think, one month uh, yeah. for two months. Right. Okay. Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, do you want to just repeat that because I talked over you at one point? Uh, one bond for two months. One bond for, for two for months. For people who've got Gold Premier Club. Cool, cool. Um, so why is Rune Metrics better than other similar systems out there? <laughs> go on, Lord Helen, tell us. Uh, Advertise it. Um, <laughs> perhaps we can get the, the screenshot up um, of some of the in-game stuff. Yeah, please do. Um, that we've got. So this is, this is still a little bit work in, poly um, work in progress. We're kind of sort of polishing it up um, at the moment. But um, it's basically what we're doing is we're 
we're tracking everything about your gameplay. Yeah. As soon as you gain XP, it's it's there. It's it's straight from game. All the information. It's it's not being scraped. It's it's all about your it's all about your gameplay. Um, so there's, you know, th there's a lot more there. Um, so we've got um, on the top of the screen. Um, we've got the tracking for all your all your skill to skill totals. Um, yeah. yeah. We've got um, your XP per hour, estimated time to um, your next level or your XP target, depending gotcha. on what so you, you set. So you can set yourself objectives. Yep. Okay. Um, we've got combat rows, so you can track um, a variety of combat skills, your damage, DPM, accuracy, the number of NPCs you've killed, even your own deaths, if that's what you're interested yeah. in. Um, and we've got wealth change as well. And again, this is tied in directly to um, your in-game transactions. Yeah. Everything that you do, anything that you pick up, that's all. it's all in-game. Yeah. It's, it's, it's all tracked that way. And it doesn't have to look kind of oh, you cover half of my screen. You, this is what you've done for purely. <laughs> yeah, this for is display. this is simply expanded so that you can you can see as much of it as a, that's can available. Manipulate it a lot like your Yeah, you can you can hide rows, you can hide columns, you can you can put it down um, nice and small. You can make the windows um, you can um, transparent, um, same as any any other of the game vin game windows. So yeah, it's Sweet. So can, really, kind of customize it as you, you can, want. You can customize it as you want, um, right. and we've got the drop log as well. Um, then, so you can. There's two options on that. You can track um, everything that NPCs drop, regardless of whether you pick them up. Yep. So you can kind of see this is what you. This is what, what you would have got yep. if you had picked up. Yep. Um, and then loots, which takes into account the things that you pick up. Grand. Um, so it's it's really customizable, which is which is great. All right. All right. Um, will there be something like a clue scroll solver in Rune Metrics? No. <laughs> you talked so, about <laughs> so very very early a lot of on, other features. Very early on, we had a lot of debates about what was going to go into yeah. it and what wasn't going to go into it. And the thing that we established very quickly was there's no cheats in it. Yeah. So it, it gives you information. It gives you uh, feedback on what you're doing. It tells you, you 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 can you can run it and see how you're doing, and then you can run it again doing something else and see yeah. how you're doing. Then you can compare the two and say which is better. But it doesn't cheat for you. It doesn't tell you what. To that do. makes a lot of sense. It just allows you to analyze what you. So done. I mean, we we talked at various points about things like kind of. Um, uh, like the farming interface, you know, having an interface that tracks your farming. We talked about ports yeah. and other things that yeah. could have been so included. We, so we, 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 we actually don't have anything for farming in there, but we would put in things that are, that are telling you about information that you can access. Yeah. But we wouldn't tell you about information that you can't access. Gotcha. For example, because it's supposed to be a puzzle that you're supposed to figure out yourself. Yeah. So I can remote heal <coughs> one of my farming plots, but you might be able yeah, to exactly. track yeah. what is there because yeah. we have it might, allow you, yeah, it might allow you to track farming plots, but it wouldn't change mechanics. Gotcha. And what's happening to the old XP tracker? Uh, that's staying. Uh, it's being improved, so it's going to include the information. So when when you log in for the first time after Rune Metrics, and this is this is true for free as well as pro. Yeah. It will import your existing XP counter data into Rune Metrics. Right. Your XP counter then from now on shows Rune Metrics data. Which is a good thing because it, 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 it just does a better job of it. Yeah. Um, so you'll still be able to use the same XP counter, and we haven't changed the configuration for system for that. So if you want to just carry on using the system you're already using, you can do so. That makes a lot of sense. Um, well, Kelpie, how are we doing so far? What? In terms of what? <laughs> are you going to use Rheumetrics Pro? <laughs> and I might have been already using it. <laughs> <laughs> We've all been using it in house, haven't we? We've, We've all been using it, and yeah. everyone goes, I don't, I don't want to stop using this. This is awesome. <laughs> I want it more. Yeah, exactly. So it just. As you would expect, we've been doing it in-house just so that we can iron out all kinks and make sure we've got everything so you've been getting feedback all the time. We had to yeah. turn it off for a while, a while ago. That and was we awful. started getting emails and people were saying, but turn There's it back bug. on, turn it back on. <laughs> Why is it working? I want it back. <laughs> um, will I keep my current XP on the old tracker? Yes. Just cover that. Yes, yes. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. Okay. It'll get imported. Um, does, does it work with virtual levels? Ask J Jal So. Yes. Yes, yeah? we had a job yeah. in for that and that got fixed. It got fixed. So that's for launch. Don't worry, yes, it'll, it's in. It'll, Grand. Yeah. Uh, how do you know Rheumetrics is accurate? Oh, that's a good one. Um, <laughs> so as Mott Helen said, all the data that, that you see inside the game is, is the, it comes from the game server, is the data that happened. It goes the, through the same yeah. systems that, that manage giving you XP and everything else. So all the stuff in game we know is accurate. Um, and the team uh, who are sitting upstairs right now working on the website of stuff, um, we're talking about it today. Um, and we think we've got it accurate to the point where it, it, it is more uh, less than one in one million events get right. lost uh, as part of the processing. So obviously, in, in any system like that, there's always some issue like that um, <laughs> where you where you can never quite get it to a hundred percent. 
Um, but yeah, we, we think it's pretty accurate. Okay. Um, just as we know, you may have noticed we have gone over our hour, but it's your fault because you have several questions that we want to answer. So there's another six or seven. I'm going to rattle through these, but I really would like to um, ask you and also to make it Kelpie as uncomfortable as possible. Um, <laughs> is there going to be a beta for Remetrics? Uh, no. Beta, beta, beta. No, it works. It works. <laughs> Bold. <laughs> Bold. <laughs> what is it? Um, we are we are going to be we are going to be uh, keeping an eye on on how people are using it and what features yeah. people want from it. So yeah. the sort of things that might come up, the sort of feature requests that might come up in a beta, will will keep an eye on. Yeah. Um, uh, does Remetrics work in legacy mode? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Uh, yes. With the legacy interfaces. Yes. Or? Yeah. Yeah. It's, um, it. it Sits on the the panel where your where your inventory is. We haven't got separate windows for it. It'll just take up that small space that you would that you would normally see. But it's yeah, it, it works. Grand. Thank you. Um, why is there so much data available in Remetrics? Where's it coming from? Uh, this is this, so a lot of people are saying like it's it's just a number. How much how much data can it take to store a number? But but what Remetrics stores is is every event that happens. Stop me yeah. if I'm wrong here. Every time you do anything, it stores that, and it stores when it happens. Well, anything. So whenever I gain a point of XP or gain an acquire an item or almost all of the events that happen in game, it stores that Gosh. information. Big Brother is watching. So it's watching. It knows. <laughs> it knows. It knows. Um, and then you can, and that's what allows your interface to to um, to expand and contract because you've actually stored the we've, data we've right got down to the very fine level. Yeah, yeah. So, so if you want to know what data. happened in the last ten seconds, you can look at that. Or if you yeah. want to know what happened in the last ten years, you can look at that. I'm going to curveball you with a few questions from the the chat. Uh, Kitto, will we be able to purchase permanent access to Remetrics Pro, just like we can permanently buy Wealth Evaluator? No, we're not currently planning to do that. But that's just as current. Because I mean, we'll just try. There's, there's an ongoing cost to the service, yeah. so, so yeah. it kind of it can't work for us like that, unfortunately. Um, sure we, we'll, we'd love to do it, but it's, it's just not really feasible at the moment. Okay, okay. Uh, Kakimile, for those of us who like tidy and compact interfaces, are any of the trackers compressible into basic views or sizes like the level tooltips? Not quite. They can go. They can go pretty small if you just want one column. Yeah. And you can you can change the, the you can change the transparency as well. Right. Um, but the the idea of it is that we've got all this information. If you want to see it, then you're probably going to be happy to, to to give up the space for okay. it. If, you, if if you're interested in it, then you'll make, you'll you, make you, space. you can get it pretty tiny. You if can you get it want, pretty small. Yeah. If you just want to know what your Slayer XP per hour is, you can get that down to about yay big. It's yeah. Not, it doesn't actually take that much room. Uh, Adele, uh, thank you for tuning in, Adele. Uh, can we track total kills of all killable NPCs in game and things like foods, pots used, etc., from account creation starting um, for, to, um, from release? So from release of Runemetrics. Yes, that, that's actually a really important point. Um, when Runemetrics is released, that's kind of day zero or day one for, for where the data starts in yeah. Runemetrics. Um, I think the detail, the specific detail there, possibly not. Um, we track you know, drops and, and kills, but maybe not the specific things that you used as part of that kill. There's no reason we couldn't do that. Um, it's quite technically complex uh, to add this stuff in because of all the, the things that happen in RuneScape and all the content that's been, that's been in there. Yeah. Um, but yeah, there's no, there's no reason we couldn't do that. Um, will RuneMetrics track invention data? Yes. Well, it'll, yeah. tra it'll track your XP. Right. It won't track what you use. What right. you dismantle, but it will track your XP. So there won't be a list of everything I've disassembled, no. but there will be XP per hour on yeah. it. Although the, the wealth tracker will take into account disassembling, I believe. Yes. So you yeah, can see how wealth. much wealth you lost from disassembling. Yes. It will tell you that. Yeah. And uh, so two more questions. The X shot, the drops table, drops tab, are those the drops that are picked up or that you received as a drop, even if you didn't pick it up? You can, it'll do both. It'll do you. both. Yeah, you can, so you you can, pick, you can, you can pick between them. Right, okay. Um, you so can't, you, can run, you can't run both at the same time, but you can switch the mode from one or, to one or the other. And it re remembers historic data, so it, you can see what you... It does on the website. It does so, on the website. so on the website, we tr we, at the, on release, we'll be tracking drops only. Uh, yeah. we're, we're getting all the data for uh, what you've been picking up. Um, but unfortunately for release, we've not had time to make the, the picked up bit yet. But that's yeah. definitely on the cards for post-release. So they'll be able to see both at some point? Yes. Yeah. And the important one is, when will it be launched? When is it released for people to get hold of? Uh, second Ooh, half of first, February, I think. Was second, the half of February. Yeah. second half of February. Second half of February. That gives yeah, yeah, that's fourteen and a half days. Yeah. <laughs> I think we can hit that. <laughs> yeah. Hope <that's> so. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it. It's, Thank it's you very fun. much. It's all in hand. Yes. <laughs> Cheers for chatting to us, guys, about Rematrix. Hopefully, you've seen something you like there. And don't worry, the adventures log 
all that stuff it's is been going, saved. It's, it's been saved. We decided to save it. <laughs> In the midst of a live stream. It's been yeah. saved, but it's going to be a different. It's going to look different. It'll look a bit different, but it should, it'll all be there. Uh, so thank you all of you, and including Kelpie. Um, <laughs> so um, my short stream <laughs> is starting at 9 p.m. game time tonight. Uh, on this channel, so he'll be doing some J Mod shenanigans, which is both ba vague and mysterious. Uh, so do tune in at 9 p.m. game time to find out what that is. There will be gobies. There will be gobies. Um, if he doesn't turn up with a rock strapped to his back, I'll be disappointed. <laughs> um, all right. So thank you very much for listening about Adventure Room Metrics, and we'll catch you next week. Cheers, guys. <laughs>